Hi, this is Pam Morin, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I'm working on one of the challenges from the Creative Memories blog for the Black Friday promo. And it's uh, layout number three, and it is using the Winter Days uh, collection. This is a collection that sold out within the first couple days of the um, Black Friday sale. So I hope you were lucky enough to get it because it is a really gorgeous collection. And uh, let's get started. I am going to Okay, so let's get started. So um, this is the Winter Days Designer Paper Pack. Um, blues and browns and tans, really pretty, really pretty collection. And then this is the challenge from the blog that I'm working on, challenge number three for the Black Friday promo. And you can see we're gonna do four pictures, we're going to have a circle um, going on right here, some flowers, some journaling, and borders at the top, bottom and top, and another little cluster over here. All right. This is an example of that layout. Very cute. And uh, let's get started. With the inside edge of the custom cutting system jumbo circle pattern and the red blade, Cut a circle from the middle of the cabin blanket paper. And as you can see, the cabin blanket paper is this striped paper here. So we're going to cut that circle out. And then we'll use it in our layout as the background. Just get my stuff out of my way here. So we're going to cut a circle out of the center. So I'm just going to line up my paper with my grid lines on my mat. And it said to use the inside edge with the red blade. So this is center here, that one. So I can kind of use the, the lines here on the paper to show me the center. And then I'm going to cut this circle out on the inside edge. There we go. And now it says to cut the icy snowflakes paper to measure 10 and a half by 9 and a half. Okay, so my icy snowflakes. Paper. And it says to cut it to measure ten and a half by nine and a half. So here we go. We've got our arm out, and I'm putting my paper on the ten and a half over here. So there's the ten and a half, and then we'll turn it and cut it to nine and a half. Okay, so now we have ten and a half by nine and a half. 
and adhere this to the middle of the cabin blanket paper covering the hole in the middle. Like so. A little bit of pieces on the corners, sides. And get my paper straight on my grid marks here. All right, and again, I can use my lines on the sides to give me my center. And then I can also use my ruler just to double check what I've got here. And I got three quarter on that side. So. Okay. And if I have any, oh, I missed a, my piece is too far down there. Let me just grab repositionable to. This edge down. And then I've got my little eraser here. I'll pick up that adhesive. No. Or I'll just use my fingernail. There we go. Looks like I got it too far down on several places. Okay. So now, next step is with the inside edge of the custom cutting system jumbo circle pattern and the green blade, cut a circle from the middle of the blue wash paper. This one, so pretty. Okay, and that's with the inside edge as well. I'm using the green blade this time. And make sure you get it in the groove there. Here, the blue wash circle to the wood flooring paper circle, the backside cut out of the cabin. Yeah, so we're going to adhere this one to this one. Got a little bit of an edge here, so I'm just kind of straighten that out. Go. Here, the circle piece to the middle of the icy snowflake paper. Looks 
like a big snow globe. Or a moon. It's like a moon. Okay. From, from the wood flooring paper, cut a 12 inch by one inch strip. Okay, so that's this piece, which I love this wood flooring. And I'm just wondering if we need to pay attention. So it looks like here in the picture, we want our wood flooring to be vertical. So I'm going to cut my one inch. Lining it up here with this. One inch this way. Okay, and then it says from the large snowflakes paper. Cut two 12 by half inch strips. Adhere one of the strips behind the top of the wood flooring paper strip, leaving about a quarter inch showing, and adhere this strip to the top of the layout with foam squares as shown. Back to my picture here. Okay. So from the wood flooring, we cut that. From the large snowflake, cut 12. All right, let's grab my large snowflake. Pretty. Pretty large snowflake. And cut two 12 by half inch strips. All right, so we're going to do the half inch this time. And let me just do a quick little measurement here. My half inch is actually this line right here. Just wanted to verify that. Yeah, so this is a half inch, this line right here. So I can take my paper right to that line. Need two of these. Awesome. Okay, and then it said we're going to take our wood strip. Adhere one of the strips behind the top of the wood flooring paper strip, leaving about a quarter inch showing. Just something like that. And adhere this strip to the top of the layout with foam squares. So we'll just add a little. Great use for the repositionable tape. So to leave about a quarter inch showing. So I like that snowflake paper. So I want to see some of it. Just eyeballing it. Remove any of that left over. 
Okay, and it says to adhere it at the top. With foam squares, which are buried over here. As shown, okay. So it's talking about this piece right here. So let's some squares on here. Let's do about four. I think that should be good. Keep all of it nice and level. And they just say above it. So, but then they have, you see, it's right here is what we're putting on this piece. Um, but then they have, another piece right there. So I have to leave some room, but that piece comes down over the circle. So I got right there would be good. How are you doing? Are you following along? I hope when, uh, when you're watching the videos, you go and grab some of your paper and get some coordinating colors and and follow along with me change your change it up a little bit you know maybe put a little bit uh of your style here in the in the layout cuz that's what this is for this should have should look like like you this should be Add your touches to it and represent you. Um, adhere the second strip to the bottom of the layout with foam squares as shown. Okay, so this other strip is going to at the bottom. Sometimes it's a little hard to see in these, but it's right here. And then we're going to put uh, one of the laser cut borders on top of it, which looks really cute, actually. So somewhere around in here. But it did say foam squares with this one too. So we're going to have a nice 3D looking border. I'll just move my, move it up so y'all can see what I'm doing. And again, I'll probably use maybe a few more since these are little ones. Just so it stays even. It's not drooping anywhere. All right, so we're going to lay this one right about here. I think this will give us enough room for that border. All right. Now it says to crop your photos to measure three and a half by three and a half. I do not have my photos yet picked out for this layout, but that's okay because I can leave, I'll just leave my room and if there's any overlapping, um, embellishments, I can always tuck my pictures in behind them. So um, three and a half by three and a half and it here is shown. What I will do is I will cut placeholders for those so you guys can just see them. So let me just do my three and a half by three and a half. I really think this layout looks like a snow globe. I'm digging it. So here's my three and a half. And oh yeah, I'm using my cover page. I I don't 
I don't think I have a whole lot that I of these that I don't haven't used. Great white cardstock. There's three and just need one more. And you can bet I'll use these squares and photo mats on some layout, so these will not go to waste for sure. All right, so there's my placeholders for my pictures. Just so I get an idea of where they're going to lay. All right, three and a half by three and a half. Here we go. Next page says to add the laser cut borders and stickers as shown, adhering some with foam squares. Use, okay, so let's do that. Laser cut borders, and I'll flip back to the page so that we have some idea of what we want to use. And here are my borders. You guys know I love my laser cut borders. These look really cute. I have not looked at these yet. Let's just lay these out and take a gander at them. So I think this is the one that they have at the bottom because they have this hill. Yeah, they have this one at the bottom. Look at the little snowman. Oops, sorry, it's not focusing very well. Still not. Maybe I'm moving too fast. So that's going to go there. So cute. And then we have snowflakes. And we have another ruffle looking thing, which I think is what they have at the top, but they have it on this side. They have it on the tan side. And just look at the rest of these little mittens, some icicles. You know, if I don't get anything else in a collection, I always buy the laser cuts because they're so cute. And get two packs of them because then when you do a two-page layout, you can lay them and they can flow across both pages. So cute. Some of them are two-sided, some of them are not. Okay, now I know we're using this one at the top as well because I see that on the... Yeah, so much fun. Very cute. So these are the ones we are not using for this layout. All right. And that said to use some thumb squares for whichever ones you want. So I think this one should be have some bone squares. Let's see. Let me get these, these little guys here. I'll just put these in place with some repositionable because I know that I'll be able to pick those back up when I need to. Maybe my pictures will fit in these sizes though. Maybe I can just leave them on there and use them. I like to get it evenly spaced, but I just eyeball it normally. That's all good. It's yours. So style it however you would like to style it. Okay. So let's get this guy on here first, and then we'll do the top. And I think we will use foam squares because it's sitting on this that's on foam squares. So we're going to need to put one here on this hill. And we'll put one on the little snowman. Make sure I can't see that. Nope, I can't. And maybe we'll put one on this tree here. 
and then on the opposite end on this little snowman. There we go. Okay. And then I'll just use some repositionable down here at the bottom. That looks adorable. All right, well, let's work on the top. So the Snow Much Fun is going to go on that brown so that you can see it really well. And then this ruffle goes underneath. So I don't think I'm going to put any kind of um, foam squares on either one of those. I think I'm good up there. So I'm just going to use my uh, repositionable. And get it all over the. And this guy's going to sit right here in the room. And then this one I can actually use some squares, not foam squares, uh, um, permanent tabs, I guess, I guess should say. The tongue's getting tied. All right. And I'm just going to slip that in right there. And I still have plenty of room to get my picture under there. So that should be fine. Okay. And then they cut out some white pieces of paper there for journaling. Let's just jump back into here. Um, okay. And then it talks about using the skate punch. But I don't have that yet. It has not been delivered yet. Um, so I. I'll have to decide on a different punch to use. Cut one eighth inch strips for laces. Oh, and here are the pieces. Okay, so still talking about that. Yeah, three and uh, three inch by half inch strips from the white cardstock, and here as shown for journaling. Yes, three inch by half inch. So, voila. I will use these pieces that we left. Three inch by half inch. So here's my three. Can you just see that I have a smaller piece? I think I did. Here's my three. And then. I just get it lined up on this line right here. That's my half. And again. Straight. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. It's going to work out well. I think. It may not be straight. No, it's not. That one got kind of jabbed there, so let's do this one. Yeah. 
three by half. Here we go. And those are going to be over on the side. And you're going to use some brown. Um, use a brown pen for journaling. That'll go well with all the brown tone and brown colors in the picture. Or I'm sorry, in the uh, in the layout. I have these lined up very well. It's a top one that I need to move over just a hair. Okay, what else? Back at our picture again. Okay, so we have our pretty border at the top with the lace hanging down. Uh, like I said, we've got to think of something else here instead of the skates. And then they have winter is the best time of the year. They have that here, and that must be in the sticker pack. I just love these collections. It just makes it so easy. Everything just looks so great. It's coordinated, and I'm one, I'm someone who likes to have coordinated. I'm going to throw a couple of small. Now, you can rub the adhesive off the back of this with some um, powder. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Should be fine with these two little guys. Two little foam squares on the back. Okay. Uh, looks like they have skates right there. I don't know if that was the punch or if they're stickers. Nope, it's a sticker. So they did this one. Um, but I'm not sure if I if my pictures are going to be skates. So I'm going to skip the skates for right now because I may need I may want to put something else in there depending on what's in my pictures that I use on my page. So I'm going to hold off on that. Um, and I think that's it then. And then we've got our border at the bottom. So very fun. We cut out that center, those two circles. So that we have the the nice uh, background behind this. I've got my placeholders for my pictures. Very nice. So find something. Find find your paper. Get your color co coordinated paper. Make your borders. Um, or use use a Creative Memories uh, paper pack and collection with stickers and and laser borders because it's just so fun to to make pages that look great and are easy to make and are don't take a lot of time and you're off to your next page thank you so much i hope you have an awesome day and i'll be sharing more with you soon happy scrapping